Okay, here we go. Rolls theorem. Just want to do a quick demonstration video on how to illustrate Rolls theorem using your CAS calculator. This is a TI Inspire CAS. So here's Rolls theorem. Remember that Rolls theorem says let f, our function, be continuous on the open interval a, b and differentiable on the closed interval a, b. And if we find that f of a is equal to f of b, that is that these two different x values have the same height, then there is at least one number c in a, b such that f prime at c is equal to zero. So let's try that. Um, here's the function that we're going to start with, x squared minus 3x plus 2. And all I want to do is this. I want to go to insert. I want to go to calculator. And I want to actually put this function in. And the function is x squared right, minus 3x minus 3x plus 2, right, plus 2. So plus 2. Now, to, to define this or to store this, just hit Control, Store. Take a really quick look. Make sure you have your function down correctly. I think that I do. F of x. And hit Enter. It should say Done. If you want to make sure that you type it in correctly, here it is again. But if you just want to make sure if you got confused somewhere along the way and, they, and you were confused about some result, you're gonna, you can just check it this way. And in fact, that is our function, isn't it? What I'd like to do now is go look and see if what this function does do and see if it does have... Um, two zeros so we're going to hit graph and we're going to just type in f of x f of x and hit enter and in fact look it does here and here i mean it has it all over the place but these are the ones to me that are easiest to find so i go back to the calculator here now remember your function is still stored here so that's no problem and what i'm going to do is just use the solve function and it's s o l v e s O L V S. I've said this a hundred times, but if you look right now, the letters are in italics. When you type a command in that the that the calculator recognizes, it goes to standard print. So solve f of x. So when is my function f of x equal to zero? Is the question I'd like to ask, and I want my answer in terms of x. So in terms of x, close that and hit enter. So now we have x is equal to one or x is equal to two. What does that prove to us? Well, that proves to us that there are the two x values that have the same height. When x is 1, we have a height of 0, right? And when x is 2, we have a height of 0. So um, we're looking, what we've been asked to do is look on this, on this interval. And we're supposed to look on the interval. Well, now what I suggest we should look on the interval 1, 2. So that's fine. Now what I want to do is this. Because now I think we've satisfied Rolls theorem, what I'd like to do is this. I would like to hit, um, and let's go to calculus. Go to calculus, and let's take the derivative. So d what, d d x, the derivative of, check this out, f of x. So this is a quick way to get the derivative here. Derivative, and it equals this. So f prime at x is equal to 2x minus 3. What I normally do is I, I save my first derivative as g of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control, store, and it says answer in a second. We can check and make sure that it brought this down to here, but I think that it's going to g of x. Now I know you're used to f prime at x notation, but this is a, a way to look at this, and it's done. Now this is what we can do. You can say, well, what a, when is that equal to zero? When is, right, because this is the slope now. So when is the slope equal to zero? And what we do again is hit the solve function, s o l v e, solve, not f of x, but the derivative function g of x, when is g of x equal to 0? And of course, we have to tell it what we want it in terms of, we want our answer in terms of x. So in terms of x, close the parentheses and hit enter. And it says that when x is 3 halves, so that when x is 3 halves, we're at a minimum point, right? So. That is proof of roll. That's an illustration, actually, of Rolle's theorem here. And what that really tells me is this: if we go back to view here and go one page back, what it tells me is this: is that I believe, I believe that this is true. I believe this is the point. Right? This is that minimum value, three halves something. And if we want to know what that three halves something is, we pre we put right. We'd look for f of 3 halves, not g of 3 halves, but f of 3 halves, and find out what that equals. Um, I guess we could do that. I guess we could do that.
go to calculator. We have a little bit of time here. We can do that. Go to calculator. Now remember, we want f of 3 halves to tell us what that height is there. So f of 3 halves would be f of 3 divided by 2. Close parentheses. And it's negative 1 fourth. So that is negative 1 fourth. So we can look at that really quickly. Negative 1 fourth. So that takes us back to here, doesn't it? And this is one neg 3 halves negative 1 fourth. So, and it does, this is our minimum. For, and here, of course, the slope is 0 here. We can look at this quickly. All right, we can look at this quickly and see that this is true um, just by looking at this. Okay. Here's a line tangent here. And isn't the slope of that line 0? So there's our illustration of Rolle's theorem using our calculator. The more uh, comfortable you get using this calculator, the more often you use it, the better that you're going to do on this thing. You should be constantly looking for different ways to use your CAS calculator. Because when you take the SAT, you're allowed to use your TI Inspire CAS. And when you take the AP Calculus test, you're allowed to use a calculator for some portions of the test. And those portions of the test that you can use a calculator for, you can use your TI Inspire CAS. And in my opinion, I don't work for that company. In my opinion, this is probably the best calculator available right now. So hope it was helpful. Um, write me comments and tell me what else you'd like me to show you how to do with this calculator. And it would be my pleasure to do my best.